Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks of the underrated animated musicals that deserve more love. Number 10, Vivo. Lin-Manuel Miranda fans are missing out if they haven't yet experienced this feel-good film. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Vivo, the king of Joe. Oh, what's a king of Joe? Oh, baby, I think that you're ready to learn a thing or two. Watch me swing as I sing at you. Every single thing I can think of to make you scream. <laughs> the titular Vivo is a Cuban king of Joe, or honey bear, with a passion for music. Together with a girl named Gabby, he sets out on an epic quest to give his late singing partner's old friend the love tune crafted for her. And oh! Is play on, play on, and keep the beat. That old friend just so happens to be played by Gloria Estefan, by the way. Miranda wrote the songs and voices the main character to great effect. The numbers are absolutely infectious and feel up to date, while the energy is high and the characters are lovable throughout. It's a sweet little story with a lot of heart, and it needs way more recognition. Number 9. Thumbelina Everything we're dreaming of will soon be ours. The House of Mouse practically has a monopoly on most fairy tales. They currently have the rights to this film, too. Still, in 1994, directors Don Bluth and Gary Goldman gave us a then non-Disney heroine to love with a tiny Thumbelina. Critics weren't kind, but for many 90s kids, Thumbelina's adventures represent a core memory. The title character is voiced by Jody Benson, who also played Ariel in The Little Mermaid. The songs for their part were composed by Barry Manilow. Let Me Be Your Wings is a beautiful romantic duet. And though Mary the Mole won a Razzie, it's definitely memorable. But marrying for love is a foolish thing to do. Cause love won't pay the mortgage or put porridge in your bowl. Dearie, marry the mole. Fun, quirky, and often dark, Thumbelina is underappreciated yet magical. Number 8. Strange Magic You fly, you fly, so high, so high. Animated jukebox musicals were having a moment in the 2010s, with Sing and Trolls both bursting onto our screens to great success in 2016. However, about a year earlier, Strange Magic was released to relatively little fanfare. Yet the Lucasfilm production has a high-profile voice cast including Kristen Chenoweth, Alan Cumming, and Evan Rachel Wood. The premise is a lot of fun, too. A take on A Midsummer Night's Dream, it was pitched as a Beauty and the Beast story where the Beast doesn't change. Plus, the songs are an eclectic mix of classic rock and modern pop bangers, selected by George Lucas. You know that I love you. <gasps> It's weird, but it works. Number 7. The Road to El Dorado It's tough to be a god, but if you get the people's nod, count your blessings, yeah, keep them sweet, that's our advice. When it comes to traditionally animated DreamWorks musicals, most of us can agree that The Prince of Egypt is a masterpiece. Meanwhile, The Road to El Dorado is often overlooked. Kenneth Branagh and Kevin Kline star as two Spanish con artists who stumble upon the famed titular Golden City. The trail we blaze is a road uncharted. The movie may have its issues, but it has become a bit of a cult classic, and it's not hard to see why. After all, with a score by Hans Zimmer and John Powell and songs by Elton John and Tim Rice, you can't go too far wrong. With that question, I love. Not to mention the plot has a satisfying blend of comedy and adventure, the animation's appealing, and it's all just a lot of fun. Number 6. Fern Gully – The Last Rainforest It might not be considered a classic, but we love a movie with a message, and Fern Gully didn't come to play. There's a simple harmony to life, a magic thing. 
Its ominous warnings about the evils of pollution and the destruction of the rainforests aren't subtle, but they are effective. On a lighter note, this independent animated film is also chock full of fairies, magic, romance, and some really great tunes. There's also an awesome voice cast. Christian Slater and Samantha Mathis are notably joined by the late Robin Williams, who brings his usual star power as Batty the Fruit Bat. We also could never forget Tim Curry's charismatic villain Hexus, who really steals the show. Number 5. An American Tale Someone's thinking of me and loving me tonight. Don Bluth has made his mark on the animation industry with works like Anastasia and The Land Before Time, but we should also remember Fievel Mouskowitz, the hero of this underrated musical. An American Tale was a box office success, bagged two Grammys for Somewhere Out There, and spawned multiple sequels, including the enjoyable Fievel Goes West, though Bluth wasn't a part of those. There's a world inside no one else ever sees. However, the 1986 flick received mixed reviews, with some suggesting it was too downbeat for kids. If you ask us, though, it has everything you want from a children's film. Memorable songs, engaging characters, and plenty of adventure. Remember to look on the bright side till then, and never say never again. It's emotional, too, tackling big themes including immigration and corruption. Plus, Fievel himself is simply adorable. Number 4. Happy Feet It may look like a standard jukebox musical, but Happy Feet deserves to stand out from the crowd. Don't push me, cause I am close to the edge. I'm trying not to lose my head. Yes, I like that one. I could really get jiggy with that. Lovely. The comedy is full of peril, going to some dark places. It's also an all-singing and dancing extravaganza featuring numbers from across the musical spectrum. You'll hear familiar tunes from Elvis, Prince, Stevie Wonder, The Beach Boys, and more. The story itself is worthwhile, too following Mumble, a penguin without a heart song, who's shunned by his peers until he proves himself through dance. And that's saying nothing of the environmental message. But the piece de resistance might just be the boogie wonderland scene, featuring a huge crowd of penguins animated to move like real tap dancers. Boogie wonderland. The end product is truly special. Number 3. Quest for Camelot This Arthurian fantasy adventure has faced its share of criticism, but there's also a lot it does right. For one thing, the songs are pitch perfect. You might have heard Andrea Bocelli in Celine Dion's The Prayer without ever realizing it originated here. And it's not the only memorable tune on the soundtrack. The heavens are sparkling with starlight tonight. That's what I see through your eyes. With a Celtic-inspired score and the vocal talents of folks like Dion and Andrea Kaur, the music is actually really beautiful. The plot is fun, too. It centers on Kaylee, an aspiring knight of Camelot, and Garrett, a solitary man who's visually impaired and who secretly shares her ambition. Like every tree stands on its own Reaching for the sky, I stand alone The leads have chemistry, the side characters add great value, and Gary Oldman makes an entertaining villain. What more could you want? Number 2. The Swan Princess Boy, oh boy, these royal highnesses all have pluses, they've no minuses. Swan Lake gets the animated princess treatment in The Swan Princess, a magical romance from New Line Cinema. Despite some plot holes and a love interest some might find uninspiring, it's really an enjoyable watch. The songs are catchy and clever, with the opening number, This Is My Idea, setting the story up perfectly. I can do much better, I am sure. 
After a fairy tale style beginning, Prince Derek blows his chance with the heroine Odette. We stand a princess who knows her worth, although love does conquer all by the end. The rest of the movie is a fun adventure full of quirky side characters, including a French frog voiced by John Cleese. The fantastic tracks continue throughout, too, with bops like Princesses on Parade and the romantic duet Far Longer Than Forever. I've made an everlasting vow to find a way to you. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. The musical Barbie movies. These were better than their animation would suggest. I'm just like you. You are? You're just like me. There's somewhere else we'd rather be. Cats Don't Dance. A feel-good feline fable that's unfortunately been all but forgotten. You don't like my song, I'm gonna sing it anyhow. <laughs> Corpse Bride, one of Tim Burton's best, if most overlooked. I know that I am dead, yet it seems that I still have some tears to shed. The Pebble and the Penguin. This obscure Don Bluth Gary Goldman pick has a controversial history, but is worth a watch. Hey, buddy, looks like we're two birds of a feather. All Dogs Go to Heaven. Dogs, demons, and some good songs, too. What's mine is yours. What's yours is mine. The more you share, the more the sun will shine. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Lion King 2 – Simba's Pride We are one, you and I, we are like the earth and sky, one family under the sun. Disney sequels aren't known for their excellence, although The Little Mermaid 2 has its moments. However, Simba's pride is really worthwhile. While its predecessor is loosely inspired by Hamlet, this one borrows its premise from Romeo and Juliet instead. Love will find a way Anywhere we go We're home Simba's daughter and Scar's would-be heir are our star-crossed lovers, torn apart by prejudice and suspicion. Honestly, the animation might not be up to scratch, but the songs are great. The opening number, He Lives in You, is taken from The Lion King Broadway Show, and the film hits its musical peak with One of Us, a dramatic chorus number that we think is up there with Disney's best. Deception and outrage Disgrace for shame He asked for trouble the moment he came You won't be bored watching this one. Which underrated animated movie do you think has the best songs? Share your favorites in the comments. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.